YouTube is filled with videos such as 10 things poor people do that the rich don't or 15 things rich people do that the poor don't or something along those lines. Many of them are quite interesting and fun to watch, but they don't really explain the difference. Do you really think that the difference between the rich and poor is that poor people watch TV while the poor don't or rich people shower more often compared to the poor? Neither do I. If you suddenly start showering more often or watching less TV, you are not going to get rich because the real difference is in the mentality, the way they play the game of money. And in this video, we are going to take a look at eight things that poor people do that are keeping them poor. Number one, poor people play defense. If you were to play any game strictly on defense, what are the chances of you winning that game? Extremely low or none, right? And yet, most individuals play the money game in the same way. Their key goal is not to win or to be the best, but rather to avoid losing. They simply want to pay their expenses and remain out of debt. The problem with this strategy is that when your goal is simply to be above the water, that's the maximum of what you will get. Of course, some individuals are a bit better than that. They save 10% of their salary, put it in the stock market, and pray that the stock market doesn't crash so that they will have something to rely on when they become old. But until then, they'll be stuck in the comfort zone of a low-paying job. There's nothing wrong with that, but if your only aim is to pay the bills, you'll just stay where you are. Stop playing defense and start playing offense and shooting for the stars if you want to earn true riches. As a wise man once said, if you shoot for the stars, you'll at least hit the moon. Number two, poor people do not value freedom. When I mention freedom, I don't mean whether or not you live in a democracy. Freedom means living the life that you want and not the one that someone else wants you to live. Doing what you want, how you want and where you want. That is why many people say money isn't important. Don't make your life all about money or the most famous of them. Money is the root of all evils. And yet, you find those individuals working from morning to evening for pennies simply to keep the bill collectors away from their house, performing a job they wish they could quit, not just because they hate the job, but also because they undoubtedly detest their boss. And if given the chance, they would leave that job. That is why money equals freedom. So, how can you expect yourself to seek money if you view it negatively? Rich people keep getting richer because it gives them more and more freedom to do with their lives what they want. Number three, poor people work hard for their money. It sounds a bit controversial. Aren't you supposed to work hard for your money? Allow me to explain. What do most individuals do to increase their earnings? They work harder to advance. And if that isn't enough, they may consider working extra or taking on a second job. The issue with this is that no matter how much you're paid, your time is limited at the end of the day. And wealthy people understand this perfectly. So instead of working hard for their money, they let their money work hard for them. They see money as a tool that can help them earn more money rather than just a piece of paper that they can use to buy anything they want, as most people do. Of course, you will have to work hard for the money at first, but this is just temporary for the wealthy and permanent for the poor. Once you make enough where your money can replace you, you will have more freedom. Number four, poor people focus on obstacles. One of my friends wants to start a chain of restaurants. In fact, he has been telling me that for the last three or four years, but every time I ask him why he hasn't started yet, his typical response is, I don't have the money and I don't want to get into debt. And that's the problem. Poor people are always on the lookout for things to go wrong. He may have found an investor or saved enough money to get started in these four years. He hasn't even researched the market. He hasn't even devised a strategy. He feels that once he receives the money, the rest will fall into place on its own. But what will end up happening is that he will just come across another obstacle. Whatever business you wish to start, there will always be challenges. There are millions of things that could go wrong. And if you are like my friend who isn't doing anything but complaining about how difficult it is, you are probably in the same dark financial position that he is. 
Some individuals are even on a different level. Even if they have all of the necessities, they would state things like, what if it doesn't work? What if people are going to know that I have failed? No one cares about it for God's sake. Number five, poor people choose to be paid based on time. How often do you hear people say, I deserve to be paid 50 bucks an hour or 60 bucks? I have a degree from such and such a school. I work harder than everyone else and I am brighter or more skilled than everyone else. What do you think? No one gives a damn. Would you watch this video since I put so many hours on it? What counts in the end is how much value you can provide. You may be working harder than Jeff Bezos, yet Bezos will make $4.5 million per hour while you will not since his company is delivering value to millions of people all over the world while you are complaining. Number six, poor people resent rich and successful people. I was watching an interview with a successful and well-known entrepreneur the other day. Then I scrolled down to read some of the comments and a lot of people were like, this douchebag doesn't deserve to be on this channel. He is a scumbag. And it really freaked me out. The guy worked hard to be in that position. Even if he inherited part of his riches, he is likely to be far more disciplined than you. Some people seem to have some kind of moral obligation to hate the top 1% or certain rich families. Here's a useful tip. Instead of disliking them, why not join them? Number seven, poor people think they know everything. This is the most ridiculous one. What do people do when they face financial problems? They complain about it. There are a bazillion number of things you can blame, starting from politicians that run the country and ending with your boss. But if you ask them to pick up a book and study the fundamentals of money management, they will tell you, this is my money and I know how to take care of it. So if you've worked everything out, why are you constantly broke? And then they'll make even more excuses for you. And it's not just about the money. However, everything else, have you ever noticed that when individuals get into an argument, they strive to prove that they are correct, even if they are not? And to be honest, I had this mentality back when I was a teenager. I was quite stubborn. But then I understood that if I kept continuing in this manner, I would never progress. So I stopped acting as if I knew everything and began focusing on my weaknesses and how I might improve them. Number eight, poor people mismanage their money. Knowing how to manage money isn't something you're born with, but rather you have to learn. Just because you have money does not guarantee you understand how to manage it appropriately. People think that if they start managing their money, it will restrict their freedom. They don't want to stick to a certain budget or think hard before buying something. They have finally received their salary and want to enjoy it. But the truth is, if you don't manage your money, you will never achieve financial independence. And that short-term feeling of mindless satisfaction isn't real freedom. Second, many believe that you need a lot of money to handle it. Trust me, it gets way more difficult than you think. And if you can't even handle your paycheck properly, do you think you can manage 10 times that amount? You've undoubtedly learned by now that what makes poor people truly poor is a bad attitude and not having money is one of the repercussions. The good news is that you can alter your mindset. That doesn't imply you'll be sitting on a lot of cash the next day. No, but slowly, you will start looking at things differently. You will start thinking differently, and instead of complaining, you will start taking advantage of all the opportunities that you're coming across. And your financial status will improve with time. A wise man once said, the best way to help the poor is not to become one of them. This video is based on a book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by Harv Eker. It's an amazing book and I would recommend it to anyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips. Leave a comment below. Happy investing!